Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement .env in your Flutter application. Same like how we make use of .env in our Node.js project. Okay, so let's get started. So in my Android Studio IDE, I have a Flutter project being created and it is basically a default counter application given by Flutter that works when I press on this button, the variable get incremented by one. So in this project itself, we are going to learn how to implement .env. So let's get started. So for this, we are going to make use of a dependency called as flutter.env. So just open popspecification.yaml file and under dependency section, we need to add that. So just add it flutter underscore dot env okay so just add this dependency and hit this pub get button so that the dependency get downloaded as an external library so now we can make use of it so now create a dot env file in the root directory of your uh, project so just click on the project section new file and just name it as dot env and just create it and here we, we can just define a variable that you want to access in your Flutter application as an environment variable. For example, let's name it as uh, one variable as app name. You can just name it as Flutter env. Okay, I can just name it anything. Yeah, so I will just name this thing. Okay, so now I need to give access for our Flutter application to use this .env file in our project. So for this in pubspecification.yaml file, we need to permit this file to be accessible okay so just go to the flutter section and here there is an asset so just comment this thing okay so just remove this dot env so this is the file that we are going to access in our flutter application so you just need to uh, permit this file accessible permission to this uh, project okay so just do that and hit the pub get button again okay so now this dot env file is accessible in our flutter application so now we can implement the dot env in our flutter app so now i want to access this app name in my application in main dot dart page so that it can be shown over here so you can see the title is uh, flutter demo home page so i want to change it and i want to get this variable from env file so let's do it now first of all just import dart dot env flutter underscore dot env yeah Okay, and after doing that here in the main dot dart page, you just need to initialize this file before starting our application. Okay, so we can do it by making use of await dot env dot load. And here we must specify the file from which we want to get the env uh, environment variable. So I want to get it from this file. So you need to just provide the path of that. So here dot env. Okay, so now to access it, we can make use of dot, dot .env and we can access it. So let me show you. So I want to just change this app uh, title to some text from this uh, dot .env variable. Okay, so let's do that. So let me copy this key of the variable. Okay, so here I have a title. So instead of this title, I want to show this text. Okay, so let's do that. So here, okay, so dot .env dot env and here i want to just get this app name so let me stop this app and restart it again okay so the app got restarted and let's wait so you can see i am getting the variable that is the parameter from this dot env file okay so similarly if you want to implement any parameter that can uh, that is that differs from your server side or development side or production side then you can just uh, give some environment variable to this file for example like this so if the environment is production uh, so if it is production then you can just make use of this uh, some other ip address or if it is a dev that is the development uh, environment then you can just make use of this okay so let me show you how this we can defer it so i'm just going to print it okay so now you can see the environment is prod so that means this ip address i need to use and if it is dev then this ip address i need to use okay so let's do that so what i can do i can just uh, do it in this uh, increment variable when the button is been pressed okay so let me set this thing so now here what i can do is okay so i want to just get the server ip right so what i can do i can just create a variable over here so where server ip okay so initially i will just keep it empty that is undefined and then here server ip is equal to dev environment environment dot env okay so here i am going to just get this parameter 
environment variable parameter over here so if this is equal to dev then i want to use this ip address okay so dev dot env dot env and use this ip address that is this parameter dev dev ip address so this is 10 dot something and there is 4 and this is 5 okay so let's use that null label okay and the same thing for the other parameter that is prod prod parameter okay so prod make use of prod okay so now let's print this and check so print okay so depending on this you can just get the ip address of the or the domain from the server and you can just add the functionality from which server the data should be fetched in the case okay so let me restart the application again okay so now when i press on this button and i have just printed it so you can see i get the data that is ip address of prod environment so if i change it to dev and refresh okay so now when i press on this button so you can see it is i am getting a uh, dev environment ip address okay so this is how you can implement dot uh, env in your flutter application so that you can vary between a uh, production server and uh, dev server okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you